Hi, I'm Seth. Hi, I'm Felicia. And today we're gonna introduce to you how to make three simple egg recipes. So two of them will be European inspired. One is the shakshuka mm -hmm. and the other one is the cherry souffle. And we'll have a locally inspired dish which is the orla, oyster omelette. Right, oyster omelette. Do you yep. love eggs, Felicia? I love eggs. Oh, how many eggs do you eat a day? I eat like two. Two, wow. Yeah. You are right smack in the WHO recommendation of eating one to two eggs a day. Fun Yay. fact! <laughs> eggs are a everyday ingredient, so mm -hmm. it's not just like a seasonal product. Yeah. And they are extremely high in nutritional value. So definitely, this is something that is really versatile and very easy to use in any recipe. World Egg Day is on the second Friday of every October. In celebration of World Egg Day, this is a very relevant recipe as well <laughs> that we are going to do. Yeah. Did you know that eggs have two colours. The one we usually see is the brown ones. Yep, in Singapore mostly it's the brown yeah. ones. But there are also white egg shells. Ah, okay. And what do you think makes white eggs and brown eggs? The colour. Probably the breed of the chicken. Absolutely correct. Yes. So brown hens actually make brown eggs. Uh -huh. And white hens give you white eggs. There's absolutely no difference in taste or mm -hmm. nutritional value. It's purely Just aesthetic. the colour. Yeah. Yeah. So, Poland is an agricultural powerhouse in Europe and also one of the largest egg producers in Europe. So, there are four Polish hen farms approved by the Singapore Food Authority that allows exported table eggs into Singapore. And all of these hen farms are owned by one major producer uh, and they are called Fermi Wozniak. So, Polish eggs are available in Singapore and it's distributed through a local distributor. So you can see this is what it looks like. It literally says fresh... Fresh eggs, eggs Poland. Poland. Yeah. So you know that these eggs are from Poland. So on these Polish eggs, you will also see uh, that there is a serial code printed on the Polish egg. So it always comes with PL, uh, which stands for Poland. This code is a proof of the multiple certification and uh, accreditation by various authorities. Fermi Wozniak is one of the biggest producers of table eggs and eggs for the processing industry in Europe, with over 30 years of experience since 1986. They believe that modern agricultural businesses should be organic, open and should have in mind that it's the consumer who makes the final decisions. Therefore, Fermi Wozniak puts priority on providing high quality products and optimizing the manufacturing process with respect to natural resources. Furthermore, they strive for perfection and continuous development, constantly implementing innovative solutions to ensure effective cooperation with their customers. Fermi Wozniak is the Poland producer, but the brand Zrovo is actually the domestic brand that is marketed in Poland. This is, however, not a brand that you'll see in Singapore as we have brought it in through a local distributor. Here's a fun fact. Zovro is a wordplay on healthy egg. So Felicia will be cooking the three egg recipes we're introducing today and I'll just be guiding you guys through some of the ingredients and maybe ask her some questions as well. So let's head to the kitchen. Okay, Felicia, what dish are we going to start making now? We'll be making the shashuka. Mmm, so shashuka is a very classic Mediterranean and Middle Eastern dish. Uh, it's a tomato-based dish and the signature look of it comes with, you know, these baked, beautiful baked eggs on top of it. Yep, so for our version, we'll, have, we, we'll be using two eggs and we'll be putting it on top of the shashuka before we bake it. Okay, Good. so first we preheat the pan. Yeah. Olive oil to yep. the hot pan. So adding garlic and chopped onions. Yes. So we're going to like stir fry it till it's a little bit golden brown. Alright, it's brown. So on onions when it's cooked, it becomes translucent, right? Yeah. Like the... So now our onions are and garlic, they are almost ready. Mm -hmm. And we mm -hmm. have here two red pepper and two tomatoes, which we have diced up. So we're going to put it inside. So we'll start to water, but um, we'll slowly cook until the water mm -hmm. you know, reduces a little bit. It's almost yeah. done and we can start mm -hmm. seasoning our pepper okay. and tomato. We add seasoning now. Yeah. Okay, first up is... Pepper. Pepper. Then we have salt. So after seasoning it with salt and pepper, mm -hmm. we're going to put a bit pep of paprika. I love paprika. Yeah, so I mean if you can't take heat, you know, don't put so much. Or if you're like feeding it to kids, you, should, you can omit the paprika. So now after the paprika, we'll put in a bit of sugar. 
because it can get a little bit sour. Alright, just mix it in. And for a deeper tomato flavour, we're going to put in a little bit of tomato paste. You want it cooked a little bit more, mm. you have to taste it to see if you need more seasoning. So you probably will need more sugar if it's too sour, you would need more spice if you want it to be a little bit more punchy. So once you see that it's boiled down a little bit already, then we are ready to put it into the oven. Okay, right. here is your baking dish. So Felicia is going to dig uh, two, right? We're going to make yes, two we're gonna small put two eggs in there. pockets here. And then mm. and we're going to add some parmesan. Oh, this is optional, so you can um, do without the cheese. Mm. So depending on whether you like it to mm -hmm. be more cheesy or not, yeah, just put a little bit. And then parsley it's for the fragrance. So here we use English parsley. Alright. And we are ready to put it into the oven. We've preheated the oven at 220 degrees Celsius. So we're going to just bake it for around 10 to 15 minutes. Alright, it looks done. Ooh, Ooh, okay. hot, 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 hot. Okay. So here is our completed shashuka. Made with two fresh Polish eggs. Yeah. Let's go on to the next recipe as well. What are we going to make next, Felicia? We're going to make Olua, oyster omelette. Alright, so Oloa is a very famous local dish in Singapore and a hot hawker favourite. Yeah. So here I have um, two tablespoons of potato starch. You can use sweet potato um, starch or flour. And then one tablespoon of rice flour. So we're just going to put them together. So in order to just give the batter a little bit of flavour, we're just going to put a little bit of salt. Just a little Not bit. just any salt, sea salt. <laughs> Again. Then 130 ml of water. Just make sure that you give it a good stir and there are no lumps. Now, after the batter, we're going to egg make the eggs, egg mixture. So here we have four eggs. You can just mm. put a little bit of fish egg sauce. sauce. Right. Um, be careful on this because it can get very tense. It's so, quite pungent, right? Like yeah. Fish sauce. So I'm just going to put a little bit, probably like one and a half. Then a dash of pepper. Alright, so we have to whisk it just to make sure that all the sauces are incorporated. So we have the egg mixture as well as the batter. And we will be ready to cook. Okay, so of course, oyster omelette, you need oysters. Yep, okay, so here we have some canola oil. Be generous. For uh, eggs and Chinese cuisine, uh, we use a lot of oil because it actually soaks yeah. up a lot of the oil. But that makes it extra moist and like fluffs up the eggs also. So before you put in, you just make sure you give it a good stir because it will mm -hmm. settle at the bottom. So what you do is you pull it in by the side and not directly into the center. Be careful! Mm. Alright, so once it's a little it starts to shape, you can flip it to the other side. And then we can lower the heat and add in the eggs. So you don't add in all of them, you add in around only like three quarters so that the last one you can just add in later. So you have some runny eggs at the side still. So once you put in the eggs, you're going to take two forks, just going to like break them mm -hmm. up. So you can see as you break it up, you can actually feel that the Better, the starch better it has some very chewy parts and start some mm -hmm. more crispy parts. So once you see that it's a little bit golden brown, you can put in a little bit of soya sauce. So the colour becomes a lot deeper as well. So we're gonna push all of them to one side first. And we're gonna put a little bit of garlic. So garlic on the side and then we're gonna add the oysters. oysters. Oysters, you don't want it to cook too long. Okay, remember the remaining eggs that we have? It's time to just dump them in so that you have that. Okay, so it's a bit like runny. Runny. Runny, more, more yeah. scrambled egg look. Then we have yep. the spring onions. So I have them by the spring side there. Spring onions. Uh, spring onions. A bit. Okay, here's a plate. We're just gonna plate our completed oyster omelette. Oh, it actually looks beautiful. 
<laughs> Slightly runny. Let's see the starch. Oyster there you have it. Oyster omelette. Oyster omelette, local favorite. Okay, let's move on to our next recipe. All right, so we're gonna make an egg dessert right now. What yes. do we have in mind? We are doing a souffle with cherries. Okay, so what's the first step? All right, so we heat our pan. So we're gonna put in our butter. It's around 30 grams. Once it's melted, we can add in our flour. This is around um, two tablespoons. So once it boils, we are ready to add in our milk. Add in the milk bit by bit. We're going to add in sugar. This is around three tablespoons of sugar. Keep stirring it because you don't want the bottom of the pan to burn. Once it starts boiling, we're going to add in the cherries. Alright, so What's now we're doing the souffle. Mm -hmm. The egg whites. So this are this is three egg whites inside here, which we separated from the egg yolks. We're gonna beat it. So for egg whites, they get easily over bitten. So you just really want to make sure you check them all. The time. So it's almost it's done. Mm -hmm. so the pigs okay. are quite stiff. So we just want to lighten this mixture first, so we don't put the whole thing in. We just take a little bit. Just fold it in. So once this is a bit lightened, we're going to put it in slowly. So we're using a folding in method, so you don't want it to deflate. So we have a greased tray here. I guess we have too much better. So we're just going to take pick the cherries part right. <laughs> and fill it in. You can't put too much, right? If not, it's like gonna it's gonna yes. rise and then it's gonna just explode out. But you don't want to have too little better also. Alright, so we're done filling it up. Just give it a little shake to make sure that there's no like air pockets in between. And then we can put it in our oven for 200 degrees at 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Yes, Alright. Okay, so now we're just gonna sit back and wait for 15 minutes until our souffle bakes. Alright, so here's our souffle. So the souffle can match with almost everything like whipped cream and ice cream because of the hot and cold combination. Hope everyone is excited to try the three recipes that we just introduced today. Uh, these Polish eggs from Fermi Voschnack can be bought in Singapore in cold storage and NTUC brought in by our local distributor Ta Shun, right? So in the NTUC or cold storage, you can see it says fresh eggs Poland and this is how you can actually get it in Singapore. There are more egg recipes you can also check out via the Zorvo Egg Recipe Cookbook. The digital copy of Zorvo Cookbook can be downloaded free from PolandShilk.sg. And from end of August until November, there will also be the Poland Shilk Festival, which promotes Polish culture as well as their products. And Fermi Wojnek is also a partner of the Poland Shilk Festival, and you can get your eggs there as well. So we'll see you at the Poland, Poland Shilk, Shilk Festival. Festival. Bye! Bye.